All right. Um, since I'm going to move off of what Sam was just talking about. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Comfort Level Podcast. I'm Maddie, and I'm here with... Brandon. Claudia. Sam. And... I'm back, baby. Sam's back. You couldn't keep me off the podcast. For now. <laughs> For now. So Dia, she didn't want to do it. She left. She didn't care about the podcast. I'm like, I do care about it. I don't think that's how she I feels. I, don't, I, don't, I, think, I think that's think. how she would feel. Because if she didn't feel that way, she would be here right now. I don't, I don't think But that. she's not here right now. So. <laughs> Look, Sam is lying. I do care about the podcast. Today we're talking about alcohol, I think. <laughs> One of the stories includes alcohol. Um... Sammy, you were just saying you don't like to drink alone in your house. Right. Yeah. Yes. Huh? Yeah, because I wouldn't do that. I'm a, I'm a good person. You got tendencies? I have addictive tendencies. Right? I think you're coming at me too hard. I you're not going to be able to never. just difference yourself. What I did hear was that you were studying for to be on the podcast. <laughs> that you, <laughs> you studied hard. <laughs> You did, you practice questions, you practice stories. Are you ready for this? this I am ready. Time. We're in the big time. Oh, yeah, no. this is big time. Right? This Claudia, is like, and I know that I cannot trust you. Yeah, so. <laughs> we get tens and Good. tens of views. And tens you better of watch out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, stop making, stop putting the pressure on Claudia. We're literally just hanging never. out and talking. She's ready. She's done more practice than we've ever done for any of this. <laughs> Oh my God! We just sit down. She actually practices. Yo, I'm it. scared now. Hey, bring Sadia. Yo, where's Sadia at? <laughs> where's Sadia? Bring <laughs> hashtag bring Sadia. <laughs> hashtag replacement. What? <laughs> You're officially canceled. Yeah, probably. Oh, Sam got canceled. <laughs> it's over for me. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> all right. Well, you guys ready for the first story? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Am I the asshole for kicking this girl out of my house after she mistook my UK flag for a Confederate flag and was planning to get us fired from our jobs? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little spicy. Wow. That went there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is alcohol? I don't know. I just looked up alcohol. This oh, is one so of the somewhere stories. there is alcohol. Yeah, yeah there's, probably, there's probably Al, like <laughs> A-L-C, something. <laughs> She probably went to the University of ALC or something. I'm excited. Who knows? That's the most American thing I don't never seen. Oh, I don't never heard. Oh, Americans in geography. Don't ask about it. Terrible. Do not ask about it. <laughs> Proof right there. If I you had... even ask me all the 50 states where they're at. There's, There's this song. one girl in my class that thought Louisiana was a country. Oof. We were I'd... in high school. I'm not that bad. I said, how did you make it this far? <laughs> <laughs> They were really serious with that no child left behind. Act. No, really. They just push you up. They said, he's fine. He's joking. But Next class, please. If you knew how many times people had asked me what we speak in Spain. Oh, no. Oh, no. In college. Oh, no. But for people who don't know, how, how much do you say it? Oh, Mike. Like, Sam, you're really pushing your luck here. I know it. Educate him. I know the language. I'm just saying there's <laughs> viewers who don't know, so we can help them out right now. Right. So they don't yeah. Like... yeah, you're trying to self yourself. No, because we all know. Then say on three, what is it? On three. No. All of us are going to say okay. the language. Okay. On three. Okay. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. And we on say three. It. On three. So when I say three, and then we no, take you a don't beat and then go. On one, two, two and say then it. say it. Okay. Okay. One, one two, two Spanish. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we all knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the asshole for kicking this girl out of my house after she mistook my UK flag for a Confederate flag and was planning to get us fired from our jobs? For a bit of background, we're all in our mid 20s and live in the USA. Me and two of my friends rent out a decent sized house and we had a get together. My roommate is friends with these two girls, we'll call them Kate and Jess. And they invite with them a new friend, 
We'll call her Ashley. Now, Ashley, when she comes over, I see that she is recording us. I thought she was just posting to her Instagram and Snapchat, and I didn't pay attention to any of it, really. I noticed that she's just videotaping a lot. So I'm like, Kate, can you check out your friend to see what's going on? Turns out she thought that the UK flag we have hanging in our living room was a Confederate flag, and she was getting evidence against us. (laughs) When she found out that it wasn't, everyone just acted like it was a huge joke. But I got pissed. Like, for real? You think we are racist, yet invite you over to our house where we have our hospitality and our food and alcohol? See? Alcohol. Alcohol. In the meantime, you're getting evidence to ruin our livelihoods, so I don't want anyone like that in my house at all. So I make a scene and get her to leave. Kate and Jess say it was just a misunderstanding, and I was like, no, it wasn't. There's the principle behind it. Some of our friends have come to Ashley's side, but I don't see how anyone can support her. Mm. Hmm. It doesn't say anywhere if the dude was actually from the UK or not. No. Yeah, why do they have a UK flag in their house? I I don't think he's the asshole. Yeah. Because that here does a pretty big accusation, and especially no days. Everyone is recording everything for the facts and the receipts. So you can actually ruin someone's life for that. But at the same time, the girl was just going to make a fool of herself. So he kind of helped her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So not the asshole. If anything, thank him. Because, <laughs> yeah, she was ignorance. Should have let her post it. That would have been embarrassing. Like, you see these Confederate fighters? Like... Girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and geography. <laughs> and there's the side of TikTok of British making fun of Americans oh, big oh, time. Really? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I everyone need to get on that side. Everyone has that side. Yeah. Uh so it would have made the news. So <laughs> <laughs> kind of saved the girl honestly cuz British can be savage. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like English people are like really like harsh. But that's just how they are. They're like, hey, we tell it how it is. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded great in these mics. It did sound really good. Yeah. Thank you. The only the only thing I didn't like was his argument like, you think if we were racist, we'd invite people to our house? <laughs> I'm like, racists have parties. They have friends. They can invite. They don't care about their Confederate flag. Like, yeah, come to our house. We're, they still have people. So that's a stupid argument. Racist people don't invite people over <laughs> to come to our parties. That's dumb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> racist people don't have parties. <laughs> they love racist. racist people love parties and everyone knows that. <laughs> yeah, they really do. Well, uh, next story. Ready. I'm All so right. ready. Am I the asshole? Husband threw a barbecue party for his friends. I refused to help. Party was a disaster. (laughs) I'm assuming that this is a woman. Yeah. That was expected to help and carry everything. And help is you do all the work. Right. And me and my friends enjoy it. Of course. Yeah. I'll say no. No. (laughs) Yeah, no. All right. Am I the asshole? Husband threw a BBQ party. For his friends, I refuse to help. Party was a disaster. Disclaimer, this must have been during COVID because they say we are all vaccinated. So my husband likes to invite his friends, note his friends, and I am not close with them, for barbecue parties. He prides himself on his barbecue skills. The thing is, I always end up doing everything. Mm. He buys and preps the meat and then grills and serves it and collects praise for all of his BBQ skills. I have to buy drinks, get out enough dishes, clean up the patio slash deck, non-native speaker. I don't know which one to use. I prepare the sides and veggies. I refill the drinks and I take away dishes. We don't use paper plates or plastic cups since I find it wasteful. So as to keep the main table tidy. It's just nonstop work for me. He just told me last week that he invited his friends for Saturday, so yesterday, just announced it. Didn't ask me. I said, well, okay. Do I know anyone? Nope. Those are his workmates, and they won't be bringing their spouses. My husband called it a guy's night. 
I said, okay then, guys night, well, enjoy yourselves. I'll be in my craft room working on some of my projects and drinking wine. He said he will handle it. Spoiler alert, he did not handle it. He got the meat all right, but just ignored any other preparation. (laughs) And I was just so sick and tired of being taken for granted. He never asked me for help. I just do stuff. So I didn't do anything. The patio was a mess. The upholstery of the garden furniture was all messy from our dogs. The table wasn't wiped down. There was stuff lying all around. His friends arrived and I welcomed them and then excused myself to my craft room, put some music on, and worked. Cue the messages. He started asking for help, like, where are the plates? We only keep a small set in the kitchen. The rest is in the basement. Where are the cups? Why isn't the beer chilled? Where is the non-alcoholic beer? Did I not buy it? Where are the sides? I just replied that he said he would handle it himself. Edit. This is also where I feel I might have been the asshole. It would have taken me just minutes to at least tell him where the stuff is. I checked on the guys a few hours later, and it was a disaster. Table all cluttered. They ordered some takeout as sides. There weren't enough dishes and silverware. Someone had to go drive for drinks. On Sunday, today, he was all grumpy and actually told me that he is disappointed that I didn't pull my weight and that I made our family look sloppy and bad. I told him that I am not his little housewife, and that he is a big guy, and that if he embarrassed himself in front of his workmates, then that's on him, and that I'm glad that he can see at least a tiny bit of work that I do around the house. He got upset and went for a run to let off some steam. Oh, and the patio was full of dishes. He didn't even clean the grill. I'm not touching anything. Wow. Yeah. This is a grown ass man that yeah. proved to be useless in front of his workmates. <laughs> that is sad. That is just that right there. Woman power. You can't do anything. You can even throw parties without looking like you're in college dorm. Mm-hmm. Not the asshole. Not like, the asshole. No. I mean, cooking meat is not even that hard. No. And that's all he takes pride on. Mm-hmm. He's a grill master, man. <laughs> I bet you he didn't even season it, though. I just have a feeling he doesn't. <laughs> Probably just salt and pepper. That's it. <laughs> I don't know what it is, though. I have to comment on this. Claudia, your voice over this? I'm like, yo, this is... ASMR? Soothing. <laughs> and I'm just like, gosh. <laughs> Man, uh, I was like, I, keep talking, please. <laughs> like, well, I'm glad you like, think that because talking too loud, it just takes energy, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's like smooth jazz in my ear, though. It's like, <laughs> oh, this is amazing. <laughs> it would have been different had he asked. Yeah. For one. And two. Yeah, fight back, girl. Like, I'm glad. I am glad it turned out the way it did. That's it. Like, <laughs> I, there's, I mean, the only other thing I could think of is maybe if she felt that way for a while to have a conversation about it. Yeah. He probably took her for granted. Yeah. And didn't even acknowledge how important her side of the party was, like yeah. her work. And for whatever reason, cooking the meat is the manly thing to do. So that's all he had to worry about because, mm-hmm. man, you know, but. But, yeah, I think it kind of reminds me of one of the stories we were talking about where because of your relationship dynamic, you you get stuck in the same way every time. And people don't even think about it because you're like, like, she was like, I didn't even, he didn't ask me to do it. I just did it. Like, it's just something I did. So when. When you're you're stuck in that mindset over and over and over again, and then he's like, I'm expecting it. She's never complained about this. She's never said anything wrong. And now all of a sudden it's a thing. I totally agree that it's communication. Like you need to communicate what you want in the relationship because if you're just doing things because they didn't, you just see it and they didn't ask for it, you're going to have issues just like that party Mm -hmm. down the road. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's the wrong, but I'm like, he's also kind of not that much of an asshole in my eyes i think overall he is an asshole because he's like why don't you get this get this get this but i'm like this is how it's been for i don't know how long it's been it's been there for years i did this you did this now it's a problem now yeah 
I think I think he um, is the asshole, but it's only because of his uh, reaction to, mm-hmm. to what she said. Yeah. Like the fact that even after she explained it and it was she should have communicated it earlier. Right. But and I think uh, but this is kind of what you guys are saying about how he just was used to it. So he was assumed when he was like, yeah, my friends are coming over. Like, that means you're going to help. But it was the way that after she communicated it, where he was just, like, genuinely upset at her and, like, throwing a fit. I think that was where he was kind of, like, assholes because he couldn't even see past where she might be feeling or even be considerate of her, like, her at all. So, I don't know. This man sounds like a horrible husband. And I'm sorry she had to deal with him for so long. And it looks like she has to pull through situations where she's not even comfortable with the crew that she's in like looks like he doesn't even care who he brings into the house when yeah she's not close with any of his friends like that Mm -hmm. tells you something even if you don't even communicate it but if you don't like my friends that that should be telling you something Mm -hmm. why don't you like them like what's going on you know yeah but if he didn't even pick on that maybe she didn't really see the point of making him appreciate her in something as small as a party you know yeah. something that is supposed to be for leisure can't even imagine what it is on the day to day life <laughs> mm. well i think the problem now he's going to get fired for sure this was all his work <laughs> friends he's going back to work they're like that barbecue was trash man <laughs> wasn't even seasoned he's trash at work i think too fired he's gone in a couple weeks He's like, has his wife been checking all the the bank accounts and the She's the been hedge doing funding? his work for him. Yeah. All he does is sign his signature <laughs> on the end and she does all the work. He's like He just I, calls her, I Hey babe, signatures. like, what do you think I should do with this client? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this crazy thing happened today and she's like, Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You should do this. And he's like, Thanks, babe. Thanks. I'll do it. Anyway, exactly so that. Mr. Jefferson, uh, I think you should invest. <laughs> You know, I think that's exactly how it happens. <laughs> and then he like goes to like his like female assistant. And he's like, um, can you like fill out this info for me and like get it back? And I'll just like have Mr. Jefferson like sign or something. Yeah. Can you do this for me real quick? Yeah. Super easy. Yeah. Super quick. <sighs> I think. And this is just a generalization. But the the men that I've encountered in my life that sound like OP's husband, it makes me mad because they are really good delegators. So they end up being like your boss in some way or somebody that you've worked with where you're like, why are you in such a high position when you're horrible at what you do? (laughs) Oh, you're really good at delegating until you get the job done. It sucks. But it's like, ah, such a strength that you have. You're so good at it. (laughs) Not doing anything. Ah, Yeah. Well, it does remind me of this show. This is a show called Kevin Go F Himself. And it's like split between two things. So it's like a traditional like sitcom like king of queens or friends like it's like a laugh track and then it's the other side is like the realistic version of what's actually happening on the show so it's like a guy who's like oh everything works out for him he just makes jokes all the time but he makes fun of women all the time but in the real life he was like no this guy's like an asshole he's just selfish but it's played for laughs so it's like really weird how they show both sides you see the jokey part and then you see like how he's the worst husband it's probably one of the best shows I've seen, like the, one of the best new shows I've seen. I'm like, but it's so weird because you you think about all those shows where the, the the dad is dumb and he's stupid. He's like, blah, 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 blah. But then you're like, how is this actually affecting the family of right. the people? It's a really good show. I think you guys should watch it. That's what, what it I on? think every single time I see it's Family Guy. It's on FX. What is it called? Oh my Kevin God. Go F himself. Oh, you said yeah. that. I wonder if it's on Hulu because it's on Netflix. It is on Hulu. I watch it on Hulu. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to watch it. Yeah. Oh, my account, my device was removed from the account. I guess I got to text stuff. I have a Hulu account. Drama. Wow. It's awkward. We should do stories about, yeah, of getting taken off people's accounts. Like, when do you take people off? That'd be hilarious. Like, what's about to happen with Netflix? Or what is happening with Netflix in Canada? It is happening. Yeah, it's stupid. I thought they reneged. It depends on the country. Oh. They what? I thought they reneged on that. What are you saying? Reneged? Reneged? Like, go back. Is that a word? It is a word. Or did you shorten that word? Nope, no, it's, it's an actual it's word. It's an actual word. <laughs> You've never heard that What are word? you saying? Reneged. Reneged. How do you yeah. spell it? R-E-N-E-G-E-D. 
It's an interesting word. It, I've yeah, people, never heard that. But it is actual real word. It means to go back. Huh. Mm. Renege on day. a deal. Yeah. But it has nothing to do with the other word. <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing to do with the other word. That flashed in your mind. Well, no, I I thought of renegotiation. So I'm like, what are you talking about? I was about? thinking about that too. Yeah. It, I couldn't find the context. Yeah, because that's the word that associated with me. So I'm like, I, but yeah, I don't feel safe saying that word either. I'm Say like, it. yo, chill. Say it. <laughs> Next story. <laughs> Am I the asshole for being too honest about why I don't drink? Oh. I'm super honest, though. About why you do or don't? I'll, overall, I'm an honest person. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. And I do get called an asshole because of that. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh. Because <laughs> I think that's the thing. There's a lot of people like, I'm just honest. I'm like, no, you're being a bitch. Like, you're just <laughs> you're doing that. Mean. You hide behind the being honest thing so you can just say really <laughs> messed up things to people. Not, I'm not saying you, Claudia. I'm just saying some people. Sam, do you do like that. Claudia? Claudia's amazing. We're sitting next to each other. We're best friends on this couch. Journey. <laughs> You're not showing the I love would, so I far. would never renege on a... <laughs> 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 All right. Am I the asshole for being too honest about why I don't drink? I'm 33, and I had a serious drinking problem since a young age. My dad was an alcoholic, so booze never lacked in our house. It nearly killed me when I was only 27 and was in the ER for alcohol poisoning. Hmm. It was too close of a call, and after that, things had to change. With my wife's support, I went to rehab and proud to say that I've been sober for five and a half years. My flatmate invited our friends over yesterday. It was seven of us in total, including his friend Mark. I've met Mark maybe three or four times over the last two years, and while we're friendly, I honestly don't know him that well, but you can tell he's a party guy, likes to get loud, take shots, and make gross comments sometimes, etc. Mark brought several cases of beer and a bottle of tequila with him, so everyone was drinking and having a good time. Mark kept offering me drinks the entire night, which I'd politely decline. It's like he made it his personal mission to get me to drink by egging me on or saying every time he sees me, I'm either drinking a soda or water, and it's okay to let loose sometimes. He resorted to teasing me into drinking, calling me a princess. I don't know what that had to do with me not wanting to drink. All my friends there knew what I was like before, how bad my drinking was, so they kept trying to steer the conversation so he'd forget about me. But every now and then he'd hand me a shot glass or a beer and would not let it go after telling him yet again that I didn't want to drink. My wife became uncomfortable with this behavior. I think she was worried I'd actually drink. She grabbed the shot for me, dumped it in the sink, and told him to stop it already. He looked between us and grinned like he understood now. Mark joked that we should get my wife drunk first, then he'll get her to loosen up the leash that she has on me. I'll admit that made me see red. I got in his face and told him, actually, I don't drink because last time I did, I almost fucking died. So unless you want me puking everywhere and having seizures, you should shut up and leave my wife out of this. Wiped the smile off his face real quick, and he apologized. The rest of the night went on, and he finally left me alone. Our flatmate did confront me in the morning because he thinks I was too honest with Mark, and it wasn't his fault that he didn't know. He was just joking around, and I made him feel bad. Our other friends agree he was being too pushy and deserved being told off. My wife agrees, so he's the only one right now that's taking Mark's side. He said I could have ignored him until he gave up instead of bringing up an uncomfortable truth for my past. Now, yes, I could have told Mark the truth without full details, but felt that's none of his business and a no should have been enough. I only got carried away when he decided to include my wife in his jokes. So, yes, I'm wondering if I was a bit of an a-hole from what I told him instead of keeping the peace. I don't think he was the asshole. Uh, Mark really brought it up. He was not taking a no for an answer. And I feel like he was one of those persons that until you slap it in the face with reality, they're just not going to back down. Plus, he was being disrespectful. Like, that is a delicate matter. He was not getting the social clues from everyone else when they were trying to steer the conversation away. So... That tells you something. He was just not either not picking on or just not caring. Mm -hmm. And he was putting that social pressure when no, no one else was. So I think their reaction was 
granted, especially when he brought the wife on, when she was just being supportive and the dude was not backing down. So Mm -hmm. I think he deserved it. Yeah. Facts. (laughs) (laughs) It always makes you laugh whenever we have like... um, this is what this is what happened with most of the guests, right? We bring them on, and then they get a little bit nervous. But by the middle and second story, even sometimes, like I think you were with the first story too, they say so much stuff that just leaves us speechless. I'm like, I, next story, I guess. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, How old were they? How old were the people? He was like 33, right? Oh yeah. I'm 33. Yeah. And the guy was 30, 32? I'm mm. guessing. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't say the age. I'm assuming they're all in the same age. Because that's one of the things, because I'm like, you guys are younger than me, but I'm like, I'm in my 30s. And when I hear someone like, I don't drink, you literally like. Yeah. Because you know there's a story behind that. Once you're in your 30s, you're like, there's a story behind that, and I'm not getting involved, so yes, you don't drink. Why would you try to push anyone to drink? If they're saying no, because I know when you're young, you're like, why don't you drink? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, fine. Yeah, like, have fun. Like, no, like, you don't know. I know so many people who have stories with alcohol that are like, yeah, I don't drink. And it's like depressing stories. So I'm like, I'm not getting involved in this mm-hmm. at all. Yeah, I think um, especially I have a lot of uh, like family members that do struggle with alcoholism. And so the fact that there's even some times where, you know, depending on. I've been to parties before where like somebody in my family used to drink and they used to be really big drinkers. And then once they stopped drinking, they'd be like, I'm sorry, but like, please don't bring alcohol around my husband or whatever. Like he's, you know, recovering, blah, 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 blah. I think even though he's a friend of a friend, like Claudia was saying, like you can catch the clues that the flatmate the flatmate brought him into the house why didn't the flatmate say anything say anything yeah right Mm -hmm. because you can catch the clues that you don't need to try and encourage them to drink Mm -hmm. i mean yes that's a really good point like why wouldn't you be like yeah so like especially if you're living together and you probably know the struggles that they have on the daily basis why wouldn't you stood up for your flatmate who i'm assuming is your friend Mm -hmm. like Yeah. Sure. Five years on, you're. I'm assuming that you're a little bit more stable, so you are okay with having uh, gatherings and other people drinking. But uh, especially if you're bringing someone that you're not close to, give them the warning or stand up for your friend. Mm -hmm. Especially when they're behaving like that and attacking your wife. I mean, especially because so the story does say that the friends would try and steer him away. Mm -hmm. Do you think that was enough? Yeah. You yeah, think that was enough. Well, he was not picking. Well, up he's on a the crazy social. person. Yeah, he kept going, but that should be a normal person. I'm like, oh, okay. yeah, okay. yeah, someone that will pick up on the clues. Mm-hmm. That should be enough. I do wonder though, like when they say like steering away, like there, some people don't get it unless you straight up tell them, don't talk to them about that. But I wonder. Oh, I wonder what. Uh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Hummus, hummus. Okay, <laughs> I wonder what the steering away entailed. See, I imagine them in like a little Fisher Price car, and they're like, they put them in the back seat. They're like, "We need to go," <laughs> <laughs> and they're driving away. He keeps getting out of it. He's like, "I'm not no, leaving." You want alcohol? They're like, "Come on, let's go." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "No, my friend needs a shot. Yeah. Take a shot Get with a me. Shot. A shot. <laughs> Drink beer." No. <laughs> That's my only... Yeah. Because, I mean, if there was alcohol there, you would have to assume that he's drunk, too. So it's like... Yeah. If you're not just straight up... Was he coherent enough to catch the clues, Mm. one? But then was the steering, like, enough? Like, or was it like a, oh, hey, let's just go over here and talk about this? And it's like, anybody could just go back after that but i feel like even that little thing is enough like i hear people you know that's clearly a thing where people are saying hey let's go do this other thing Mm -hmm. that's so obvious i feel to anything okay i'm just gonna not do what i was doing because that's 
obviously what they're trying to push me away from. Yeah. And um, when there is silence, when there's that awkward silence, Ooh. when you touch something that you were not supposed to touch, those like mm, warnings. Yeah. But I, I, I think it, I'm just so back and forth on it because it's uh, knowing people that just don't get social cues and then you add alcohol into the environment. It's like they weren't going to get it unless that happened because everybody else is like, oh, yeah. Completely. So I wonder if they all knew him too. It was just like, oh, he was going to do that regardless. Unless you told him, he wasn't going to do it. Yeah. Oh, right. There are some jerks who are just like, they will go full hog on them. They will keep it going no matter what. He could be one of those guys. So this is what you had to do regardless. You mm-hmm. got to yell. Yeah. I think the reaction was wondering. So yeah. it was fine. Yeah. Do what you got to do, man. Mm-hmm. But I think the wife's the asshole for pouring out the shot. So thank you guys for joining us <laughs> for the Comfort Level podcast. Uh, thank you, Claudia. Thank you for joining us. That was really good. Oh my yes, God. of course. Her I think new nickname is Smooth Jazz. Smooth Jazz. <laughs> yeah. So next week it will be Sadia and Claudia and Maddie. It will be the all girls episode. The guys are gone. Oh, okay. I'm here for this. We're Why out. am I I'm disappearing? Claudia is replacing you. Yeah, you, Maddie, tell you. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Lo siento. And you can't be mad. Look at listen how she's saying it to you. You can't I even know. be mad. I'd be like, I guess I'm mad. off the podcast. Said, Lo siento. Oh my god. <laughs> no era mi intención. Solo pasó. Might as well just walk away. At this point. <laughs> I, I'm gonna keep listening because it just sounds. Good. <laughs> we're still listening to the podcast. We're mad. We're just doing angry comments on all the podcasts. We were like, we love it. We're mad. <laughs> no, there's just teardrops. There's just watermarks somehow in every comment. <laughs> oh my god, this is the worst podcast ever. Her voice is amazing, but I hate this. Somehow the podcast is better with both of them, but still, still. It's like your guys' public accounts too. So you're just signing it, Sam. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I'm still here, guys, but Claudia's way better. <laughs> I forgot to sign into my burner account. To- Oof. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for joining us for the Comfort Level podcast. Um, where is Sadia? You're not supposed to be here, Sam. Um, Sadia did come with Claudia, um, but when Claudia came into the door, I pushed Sadia out and locked it. So she's probably still outside. Oh. So we'll probably need a gear. Yeah, we should probably podcast. stop yeah. the podcast yeah. Yeah, so yeah, we yeah, can yeah, go yeah, get yeah, some. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>